Hi, I'm Mike Arthur from the NZ Engineered Stone Advisory Group, or NZESAG. Our members include Laminex New Zealand, NZ Panel Group, Archant, Smart Stone, Trend Stone, and Universal Granite and Marble. We're proud to have won the Safeguard Award, sponsored by WorkSafe New Zealand, for the best initiative to address a work-related health risk. We got together as an industry of suppliers of engineered stone and said, how can we ensure that our customers uh, raise their standards and ensure their workplaces are consistently safe across the New Zealand landscape? Uh, we decided to develop the accreditation program. We wanted to look to our industry and ensure that we had high standards and that workers were safe in New Zealand. Well look, I think the biggest challenge for us when we started this program is we're a group of suppliers, not technical experts. So we had to find someone to partner with who could help us on that journey. And uh, look, we looked around and found uh, Tom Reeves from Impact, a health and safety uh, consultancy who specialises in this uh, sort of work. Tom's knowledge of health and safety and his technical expertise was critical to the, to the development and the success of the program. Hi, my name is Mick Sharp, I'm from Linear Stone, we're fabricators of stone bench tops based in Avondale, Auckland. Our industry is, is, is dangerous for a number of reasons, I mean we're dealing with very heavy weights and they can easily crush, kill someone if you get it wrong, so health and safety has always been very important. Silica is an issue that's been around, we've known about it for a long time, it's the silica dust that's created from cutting engineered stone, which is a very, very high silica content. We have to be completely on top of our game. And, and that's really how the whole group is formed to ensure that there are some standards that everyone has to abide by. Under the accreditation process, they are encouraging you, or insisting in some cases, that this is the way you have to do things, which it creates that, that pathway that you need to follow, and it just takes a bit of the guesswork out of it. We are encouraging our, our fabricators and our customers and the industry to adopt the program. We've got our early adopters, around 10% of the market have uh, already adopted it and we've got another chunk who are really keen to get started soon. So we're off to a good start, but there's a lot of work to do to get the remaining fabricators on board. Well it's important that consumers know about the program and much like architects, specifiers and designers, that they go to their designer and request or insist that they use an accredited fabricator so they get the best possible outcome. They know it'll be manufactured safely, but it'll also be installed in their home safely. 